whore. <gasps> Piece of history. Industry, a popular BBC drama, is notorious for three things. Cryptic financial conversation, horrible characters who do a lot of cane, and filthy scenes. It's similar to Succession, but with a younger, wilder cast. However, there was something missing from the first two seasons. In the first season, we met the new hires at Pierpoint, a fictional yet world-renowned bank with an exceptionally demanding graduation plan, and we followed them as they entered the brutal and unforgiving world of trading. We were introduced to our main characters. Yasmin, played by Marissa Vabella, a polyglot heiress with a penchant for dominance, Harper, played by Mahala Harold, a cold-blooded, deceitful New York University dropout, and Rob, a charming, if slightly gormless working-class boy who majored in geography instead of economics a predictable but hilarious twist. During season two, Harper's friendship with COVID profiteer Jesse Bloom and her persistent disobedience toward her supervisors at Pierpoint, particularly the highly esteemed floor manager Eric Tao, were the main attractions. While juggling her father's shady business dealings and her own identity crisis, Yasmin found herself in a precarious position on the trading floor and later in private equity. While everything was going on, Rob's mummy issues led him to give in to a female client's harassment. Season 3 of Industry, though, is something else entirely. The show starts out with some very typical programming. A shocking scene involving Yasmin's father and a pregnant woman occurs within the first two minutes to shock the audience, Harper is busy manipulating and scheming her way up the corporate ladder, and Rob is still bonking that customer. The initial display of cocaine on screen occurs less than three minutes into the video. Old hat, same nonsense. I haven't done blow since 9-11. The next year, industry develops into a totally new kind of show. The emphasis shifts from Yasmin's fight for acceptance at Pierpoint to her bond with her father, who has vanished without a trace. Sir Henry Muck, played by Kit Harrington, is an annoying pasho who cosplays as a renewable energy baron, he is also a client of Pierpoint's, and she and Rob are having to deal with him along with another interesting new character. Just these two plots provide an exciting diversion from the trade floor, which makes this series the most engaging one thus far. Harper is simply being Harper at another fund, while Rob's feelings for Pierpoint dwindle. While each of their plots is intriguing in its own right, it is the close quarters they share with Yasmin's whirling vortex of disorder that provides the most acting instruction whenever they are on screen together. It becomes even more perplexing when one considers Eric and Yasmin's peculiar, developing father-daughter bond. Although Mahala's potential has been demonstrated, Marissa Abella emerges as the season 3 standout. Her performance as Amy Winehouse in the disastrous biopic Back to Black almost makes up for it, since she is that wonderful. Those who were skeptical about Yasmin in previous seasons will find themselves utterly captivated by her character this season. Industry lacked this essential component. What is this? Is this sex? It's just sex for you? The Pierpoint crew's potential for terribleness was repeatedly revealed to us over the course of two seasons. Aside from Rob's pathos a vague want for Harper to win no emotion evoked any empathy. The authors finally allowed us empathize with the characters in season three, despite their vile humanity, and stopped hitting us over the head with it. Rishi, the resident office wind up, goes from average to beloved in the span of 40 minutes, thanks to a hilarious bottle episode in the vein of uncut gems. Also, it's not as serious as it once was. In one episode, the traders visit Pierpoint while costumed as royalty, Eric is quite comical as Henry VIII, while Yasmin plays the role of Princess Diana, a satirical nod to her season-long tabloid hunting plot. After a heated debate, the protagonists in another story swap pleasant slaps. The hilarious and terrifying lone shark Asim Chaudhry makes an appearance. While Sweet Pea continues to supply the Gen Zer one-liners, Harrington fits in perfectly with the industry universe as a beautifully pitiful worm. When Rob pulls out his phone to calculate a percentage reduction, Harrington scolds him and says, do it in your head, fuckface. This scene is particularly noteworthy. The series industry captivated me at first, but I quickly became sick of it and didn't want to watch it again. The third season is unique. 
although there are still instances where the level of controversy crosses over into the obscene, and the conversation occasionally seems like a combination of a thesaurus and economics for dummies, I will be pressing replay as soon as I can. Simply put, this is top-notch television.